Well, welcome back to the man cave. Today we're outside in the driveway. I didn't think I was going to be able to make this video for a while because my car's still in the shop. And the wife's car got just got a full makeover last week and it's still looking good. But I was able to borrow my mom's car. This is a picture of her wheel, which is what I'll be cleaning today. This is probably the worst one on the car. What I'm going to do is show you the steps. I won't make you watch me clean the whole thing. So, with no further ado, let me get prepped. And the next shot, if you see of this tire, will be after it's cleaned. The tools for today are the Turtle Wax Hyperfoam Hybrid Solutions Wheel and Tire Cleaner. And there's my blue bucket, my tire bucket. Inside, you can see both brushes and a microfiber towel. I will explain the microfiber in a little bit, but basically it's a holdover from when I used to have to clean the tires twice with any other wheel cleaner because that's the only way to get them even close to being clean. So even doing tires twice with the turtle wax, I can still get 24 tires out of one bottle. I will show you the application shortly. Okay, step one, as you see, is to hose down the tire, rinse it really well. This does two things. It knocks off all the loose dirt and grit, and it makes sure the tire and the wheel are cool. Now, the reason that all these tire, manufac tire cleaner manufacturers say use on a cool wheel is because if you wash a car that it was just recently driven, the brakes get hot. When the brakes get hot, the rims get hot. And if you were to spray a chemical wheel cleaner on them at that time, you're asking for a nasty chemical reaction that could damage the painted, clear-coated finished, the polished finish, whatever kind of finish you have on your car. So it's not worth the risk. If you just went for a drive and you want to wash your car, give it at least an hour for the metal and everything to cool down to a point where there will not be that chemical reaction. Now, if you live in a southern state, like southwest U.S., and it's 120 degrees out, but your car's been sitting, this does not apply. Because brakes get much hotter than that, and that's the kind of heat that causes those nasty reactions. Step two is what everybody I've seen on YouTube and everywhere else get wrong. They think you need to coat the tire completely with the foam. And that's not the case. This stuff is very potent, but it is very safe. I only use three to four trigger pulls per tire and two in an X pattern on the rim, or in this case, a hubcap. The pre-spraying the tire with water helps the chemicals, the cleaners spread out evenly, and it helps them get to work. And the water in the brush that I keep in about three inches of water in the bucket also helps spread out the cleaner and makes it work the way it's supposed to. I'll show you just how much you need to use. That's it, four sprays on the tire. And for the rim, a little X. That is all you need. Then you start scrubbing with the stiff one. I try to go around the tire twice, switch brushes, and do the hubcap. I'll be back when I'm ready for the hubcap. The scrubbing is, you know, just your basic. And you can see just how quickly that foam is turning brown. I'll be right back. Okay, now that scrubbing of the tire going around twice took me all of about two to three minutes. Now it's time to switch to the softer bristle brush for the wheels. And it's very simple. You just go around and try to get every nook and cranny. And all the intricate little designs. All the brake dust. Oh, cracked hook cap. Brake dust, road grime, all the stuff that builds up. This brush is stiff enough to take care of that, 
but not so stiff it'll damage your finish. Make sure you get in your little lug nuts. Get the bristles down in there. And then one more pass around the tire. Now normally, I would rinse at this point, and I'll show you that in a second, as soon as I find those. But you can see just how brown that foam turned. This car does not get clean for my mom. This is transportation only. She doesn't care what it looks like. She only cares that it gets her to point A to point B with no issues. So hold on a second and I will rinse the tire. Okay, tire's rinsed. Now this is where the microfiber comes into play. Like I said, with every other tire cleaner I've ever used, no matter what it was, I had to go over the tires twice just to get them close to being clean. This turtle wax stuff is amazing. It does it the first time, but old habits are hard to break and now instead of as and now instead of being a secondary cleaning going over this with a microfiber cloth is only to make sure that I didn't miss any spots so what I do is I take the cleaner again use less than I did the first time two to three sprays on the tire one top one bottom and a couple of minor spritzes on the hubcap. You take the microfiber out of the towel, out of the bucket, wring it out a little bit. You still want it wet though. And re-scrub the tire. I won't make you watch this.